Good evening. We have a quorum present, uh, so I'd like to call this meeting to order. Uh, let's begin. Join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Do I hear a motion uh, to uh, approve tonight's agenda? Move to approve tonight's agenda. Second. second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed, same sign. The agenda is approved. And our agenda for tonight, spotlight on students. We're very proud to have all of you here. To introduce uh, uh, and tell a little bit about each of you wonderful students, uh, Crystal Reardon, Director of Counseling and Student Services, will present uh, each of the cases uh, to us, and you'll be able to be recognized with Superintendent Moore. Ms. Reardon. Right. Thank you, Chair Martin, members of the school board, and Superintendent Moore. I am pleased this evening to present to you these exceptional examples of the Wake County Public School System's Spotlight on Student Awards. Um, I will read each student's name, grade level, their school, and their year of graduation. They'll come forward, they'll greet Ms. Moore, receive a plaque, and I will read the um, amazing things that the school has shared about each student and then I will ask for the family and school supporters to stand to congratulate the student if you could hold your applause until I ask the family and school supporters to stand um, and for a few <coughs> of our students I will be inviting Miss Karina Hernandez forward she's an interpreter for the Wake County Public School System and she'll be coming and supporting me in sharing um, information about some of our students so we're gonna begin with Christian Ishad, fifth grade, class of 2026, Cary Elementary. Christian joined our class at Cary Elementary three short years ago. Over these three years, we have witnessed Christian overcome obstacles that may have seemed impossible to many. During the early days of his arrival, Christian had learned strategies and procedures that would allow him to be successful in class and develop positive friendships. After hard work, support, and practice, Christian has become a class leader. He's now helping his classmates make the right decisions and even helps others to be the best that they can be. Christian has developed a love of music which has allowed him to shine and become our very own rock star. Christian has proven to Cary Elementary that obstacles are not insurmountable, they're just bumps in the road to success. Cary Elementary is thrilled to have Christian as our spotlight student. Will the family and school supporters of Christian please stand to congratulate him. Griffin Tillotson, fifth grade, class of 2026, Douglas Elementary. Griffin is an all-around good student who sets an excellent example for others. Not only does Griffin do well in school, but he is a kind and generous person. He always has a smile on his face and seeks to give words of encouragement to his classmates. He's worked really hard this year to improve his writing skills and has now taken a struggling student under his wing to be a mentor to that student. Griffin is always seeking to take on additional responsibilities, such as being a helper in the classroom and serving on the Douglas Safety patrol. He is creative, caring, and has a wonderful sense of humor. Griffin is a student who truly deserves to be in the spotlight. He's a remarkable young man who stands out among his peers for his enthusiasm for learning and his strong moral character. We are proud to have him at Douglas. Will the family and school supporters of Griffin please stand to congratulate him. Derek Anderson, fifth grade, class of 2026, Forestville Road Elementary. 
James Comer once said, no significant learning can occur without a significant relationship. This quote is so very true and fitting for Derek. Every morning he arrives at Forestville with a smile on his face and is ready with a joke for everyone he meets. When asked about school this year, he said, I love school this year because of my teacher and principal. I like that we do fun and hands-on activities in class. Many staff members feel that we haven't seen a student make so much growth in so many areas like Derek has done this year. He's a student that we will carry with us in our hearts for the rest of our lives. Derek inspires us, gives us hope, and reminds us of the impact a positive educational experience can have on a young person. In looking ahead to middle school, he said, I'm I'm not feeling as confident because the work is going to be harder, but I know I'll make it. I know that the teachers from Forestville won't be there, but I wish they could be. I think his teachers wrote this, don't y'all think? <laughs> as, as we as a school are sending Derek off to middle school, we know that he will be headed onto a path of great things. Will the family and school supporters of Derek please stand and congratulate him? Daniela Martinez Gonzalez, fifth grade, class of 2026, Fuqua Varina Elementary. And Ms. Hernandez will be joining me for this presentation. The staff at Fuqua Varina wish you all could participate in a day in the life of Daniela. She comes into class with a smile and a greeting each day, even when it may not be the best day. She asks questions when she needs to, shares with others, and communicates her thoughts. During lunch and in the hall, she is gracious to all staff and has exceptional manners. If she sees a friend eating alone, then she joins them. If someone is saying mean things to another student, she asks them to stop and think about what they're doing, encouraging them to have empathy towards that student. As the day progresses, she learns with essential curiosity of what happens and how, asking questions, sharing with others, and helping when she can. She embraces academic challenges as she does with life. She is very deserving. Our spotlight student is Daniela. Ms. Hernandez. Daniela Martinez González, quinto grado, clase 2026, escuela primaria Fiuco y Varina. El personal de la primaria de Fiuco y Varina desea que todos ustedes pudieran participar en un día de la vida de Daniela. Ella viene a clase con una sonrisa y un saludo todos los días, aun cuando puede que no sea el mejor día. Hace preguntas cuando lo necesita, comparte con los demás y lo comunica lo que piensa. Durante el almuerzo y en los pasillos, es amable con todo los, el personal con modales excepcionales. Si ve en un amigo comiendo solo, se une a ellos. Si alguien le dice cosas malas a otro estudiante, ella les pide que se detengan y piensen lo que están haciendo, animándolos a tener empatía hacia ese estudiante. A medida que avanza el día, aprende con una curiosidad esencial de lo que sucede y cómo, haciendo preguntas, compartiendo con otros y ayudándole en lo que puede. Abraza los retos académicos como lo hace con la vida. Ella es muy merecedora de este premio. Nuestra estudiante estelar, Daniela Martínez González. Felicidades. Will the family and school supporters of Daniela please stand and congratulate her. Coe Morrison, 7th grade, class of 2024, Wake Forest Middle School. Coe is a likable 7th grade student who's been through some medical hardship at an early age. By the age of 6, he'd had six major surgeries to help his kidneys function properly. In 2006, he had to go through a two-part major surgery. He's currently being treated at home where he receives 12 hours of dialysis each night. Due to Coe's condition, he's unable to do what the average boy his age enjoys doing. But Coe is so very resilient and insists on riding the bus and participating in physical education whenever he can. He comes to school regularly and never complains. What he can't do physically, he makes up for with his eagerness to develop positive relationships with his peers. His teachers agree that he is a respectful, considerate, bright, diligent, and fun student who has a positive attitude towards learning and towards his peers. Co also demonstrates so many positive character traits, most notably enthusiasm, courage, and curiosity. He is passionate about participating in band where he plays the French horn. 
He is adored by his peers, teachers, and staff at Wake Forest Middle School, and he is an inspiration to us all. Will the family and school supporters of Coe please stand to congratulate him? Aryan Singh, third grade, class of 2028, Highcroft Elementary. We are thrilled to present Aryan with this year's Spotlight Award. Aryan takes pride in and advocates for his learning by asking questions during instruction, showing interest in learning new skills, and persevering through challenging academic content. Aryan is a model student and a good friend to his classmates. He offers them help when they're struggling with tasks, and he shares and takes turns. Though through perseverance and willingness to take on challenges, he's developed a wonderful, newfound confidence. He even volunteers to lead the class in activities. His desire to help others, his courage to try new and challenging tasks, and his infectious happiness set him apart from other students and make his teachers at Highcroft proud to recognize him as our Spotlight student. Will the family and school supporters of Aryan please stand to congratulate him. Ashley Dibler, fifth grade, class of 2026, Holly Ridge Elementary. Ashley's personality and charisma light up the room. She takes on responsibilities to better the classroom and her peers' learning experiences. She's made encouraging signs to put at each group's table, created a month of kindness backdrop for her peers to use as a photo opportunity, and created a gift exchange among the students in her class. Ashley made sure that each member in the classroom has felt cared for. Ashley taught one of our students how to play kickball and even held her hand while running around the bases. In aftercare, she is continuously helping with the younger students and making an effort to have each one feel included. She is always ready with a smile and a helping hand right there. Will the family and school supporters of Ashley please stand and congratulate her. <laughs> Cornelius Wilson, fifth grade, class of 2026, Hunter Elementary. Cornelius is the epitome of a star student. He's an extremely diligent scholar who always puts forth his best effort. He's become an amazing student leader in math and science. He sets an outstanding example in both citizenship and scholarship. Cornelius enjoys learning and thrives with challenge and enrichment. He is a role model in EL because of his superior leadership skills and his outstanding participation in class activities. He frequently leads discussions and poses intriguing and higher order questions related to the unit of study. He's overcome a multitude of obstacles and continues to persevere. He never lets anything get him down, always approaching a challenging situation with a cheerful outlook and a smile. Not only is he a leader in the classroom, but he also serves as a positive influence with great sportsmanship when he plays football. He encourages his team when they have touchdowns or fumbles. His reinforcement helps maintain excellent morale on his team. He's a member of the school chorus, and according to his teacher, Cornelius is a critical and creative thinker who expresses himself well both in song and in life. He is mature, humble, kind, caring, friendly, and funny. In the words of one of his classmates, he's funny and serious at the same time. <laughs> his teachers and family can't wait to see what his accomplishments will be, and Hunter Magnet Elementary is honored to have Cornelius as their spotlight student. Will the family and school supporters of Cornelius please stand to congratulate him? James Hannum, fifth grade, class of 2026, Jones Dairy Elementary. James is a student who works hard in all subjects. He displays curiosity and an intrinsic motivation to learn. He's a student that others look to for guidance and establishes himself as a leader with his peers. He has a wonderful sense of humor and employs it aptly in both discussions and his writing. He looks out for others and takes his duties and responsibilities seriously. It has been a pleasure to be with him in fifth grade this year. This is an amazing young man with amazing integrity and we look forward to what his future holds. Will the family and school supporters of James please stand and congratulate him. <laughs> Brian Hunter, 
Brandon Watkins, fifth grade, class of 2026, Lake Meyer Elementary. Throughout this year, Brandon has worked hard to achieve his goals. He puts in tremendous effort in class and has a strong desire to grow in all areas of his life. His teacher is particularly proud of how hard he's worked in math and has seen outstanding improvements from him throughout the year. Brandon is also a very likable kid and his classmates enjoy being around him. His teacher is amazed by Brandon and his many talents and everyone at Lake Myra is excited to watch him continue to grow and progress in so many ways. Ways. Will the family and school supporters of Brandon please stand to congratulate him. <laughs> Unico, fourth grade, class of 2027, Leesville Road Elementary. It is our pleasure to nominate Yuna as the Leesville Road Elementary Spotlight student. Yuna lived in South Korea from the age of three until just last year. Determined to persevere and succeed, Yuna demonstrated a positive perspective and a remarkable work ethic to embrace every opportunity to practice her English. She recently finished reading Lord of the Rings trilogy and The Hobbit. As intelligent and hardworking as she is, it pales in comparison to her kindness, consideration, and her sense of empathy towards others. Yuna is indeed a friend to all and finds enjoyment in helping those around her. Her smile is infectious and always appreciated by anyone who's fortunate enough to spend time with her. Yuna is a model of all the qualities that we wish for our students and our general school community, and it is our sincere pleasure to honor her with this award. Will the family and school supporters of Yuna please stand to congratulate her. Andrew Guerrero Claro, fifth grade, class of 2026, North Ridge Elementary. And um, Ms. Hernandez will be joining me for this presentation as well. Andrew has attended North Ridge since kindergarten and has been a leader among his classmates since day one. His compassion and empathy for others have helped him connect to his school and develop strong bonds with his friends. From the moment you meet Andrew, it is easy to see that respect and hard work have been reinforced and expected by his family and friends. Despite adversity outside of school, his teachers all agree that he is one of the most polite and enjoyable students they've ever had the pleasure to work with. With grit and a positive attitude, he will be an amazing leader in middle school. Ms. Hernandez. Andrew Guerrero Claro, quinto grado, clase de 2026, Escuela Primaria Northridge. Andrew ha asistido a la primaria de Northridge desde kinder y ha sido un líder entre sus compañeros desde el primer día. Su compasión y empatía por los demás lo han ayudado a conectarse con su escuela y desarrollar vínculos sólidos con sus amigos. Desde el momento en que conoces a Andrew, es fácil ver que su familia y amigos han inculcado y anticipado el respeto y el trabajo arduo. A pesar de las adversidades fuera de la escuela, todos sus maestros concuerdan que, en que Andrew es uno de los estudiantes más educados y agradables con lo que han tenido el placer de trabajar. Con aquella agalla y una actitud positiva, será un líder increíble en la escuela secundaria. Will the family and school supporters of Andrew please stand to congratulate him. Christian Muth, fifth grade, class of 2026, Northwoods Elementary. Christian's exuberant personality and willingness to persevere on good days and bad make him a model choice for our spotlight student. Even in the face of challenges and loss, he pushes forward without excuses and maintains hope that is inspiring to all those around him. Christian comes to school with a smile. And oh, by the way, if there was an NC State game, you can bet that he knows the statistics. I know, wolf pack behind me, I know. Christian advocates for himself and others in the classroom setting, and his inquisitive nature opens countless opportunities for him to grow. We are honored to recognize him this evening and would like to thank him for making our choice for the Spotlight student so easy. Will the family and school supporters of Christian and NC State please stand to congratulate him. <laughs> Nolan Conkle, fifth grade, class of 2026, Oakview Elementary. 
Nolan has demonstrated Oakview's wise behavior throughout his fifth grade year. Nolan works collaborative, collaboratively with his classmates. He is innovative in his approach to challenging tasks. He's a successful leader for his peers, and he is the true model of an engaged learner at Oakview. Nolan shines among his peers because he takes accountability. He demonstrates excellent citizenship and perseverance. In circumstances where other students may be defeated, Nolan remains persistent. Undoubtedly, his incredible work ethic will continue to guide him towards success. Oakview is thrilled for Nolan to represent our school as the spotlight student this year. Will the family and school supporters of Nolan please stand and congratulate him? Brandon Perez, fourth grade, class of 2027, Olive Chapel Elementary. And Ms. Hernandez will be joining me for this presentation as well. Brandon is an active learner. He always smiles or gives hugs to cheer up his friends whenever they may be having a bad day. He radiates a love for learning by always being optimistic about his work. I know that's hard to believe. He asks clarifying questions if he does not understand a concept. Brandon advocates for himself and consistently demonstrates a persistent learning approach. Brandon has a degenerative eye condition and has learned to use the zoom in function on the computer so that he can effectively complete his classwork. The Olive Chapel Elementary School staff speaks often of Brandon's consistent courteousness and respectfulness to peers and adults alike. His hard work, his work ethic, and his unselfish behavior benefits everyone in our school and makes it a better place to be. Will the family and, oh I'm sorry, uh, Ms. Hernandez. Brandon Pérez, cuarto grado, clase 2027, escuela primaria Olive Chapel. Brandon es su estudiante que participa activamente. Él siempre sonríe o da abrazos para animar a sus amigos cuando tienen un mal día. Él irradia un amor por el aprendizaje y siempre demuestra optimismo, respeto a su trabajo. Hace preguntas aclaratorias si no entiende un concepto. Cuando resuelve un problema de manera incorrecta, quiere saber por qué está mal y los pasos para solucionarlo. Brando aboga por sí mismo y demuestra constantemente un enfoque de aprendizaje persistente. Brando tiene una afección ocular degenerativa y ha aprendido a usar la función de Zoom en la computadora para poder ver el trabajo de la clase de manera efectiva. El personal de la escuela de primaria de Olive Chapel habla a menudo de la cortesía y el respeto constante de Brandon hacia sus compañeros y adultos. Su ética de trabajo duro y comportamiento desinteresado beneficia a todos en la escuela. Now will the family and school supporters of Brandon please stand and congratulate him. Maria Rojas Valdez, fifth grade, class of 2026, Pleasant Grove Elementary. Pleasant Grove is pleased to recognize Maria as our spotlight student. She moved to the United States in October and rapidly adjusted to becoming an outstanding Pleasant Grove flyer. Laura display, Maria displays exemplary qualities such as kindness, generosity, and perseverance. She demonstrates responsibility in the classroom and lends a helping hand when others may need support. She is bilingual and immediately offers to help bridge communication gaps for others. She has a love for learning that is demonstrated every day with a cheerful and positive attitude. She volunteers to read to, her young, to younger students in other classrooms without hesitation. We believe that she is a model student and we we are honored to have her as a pleasant, a pre <laughs> as a present, and a Pleasant Grove flyer. Will the family and school supporters of Maria please stand to congratulate her? <laughs> Nicole Walker, fifth grade, class of 2026, Poe Elementary. The spotlight is not bright enough to focus on Poe's spotlight student. She has a big heart and is a model student. In her humble beginnings as a kindergartner at Poe, Nicole was shy. She faced reading challenges, but she applied much effort, hard work, and tenacity to overcome. Every year she's grown stronger in reading and now she helps others. Nicole wants to be a doctor and a seamstress when she grows up. You need to be able to sew to be a doctor. 
She certainly has the determination to accomplish her life's goals, and there is no doubt that she will. Nicole is a role model and a leader. She helps to keep our school safe as a safety patrol member. Nicole's family describes her as caring and family-oriented, the ideal child. She looks for the good in others and does not hold a grudge, even when others may not be so nice to her. She is a kind and gentle person and brings an air of peace into every space she enters. Nicole is so deserving of this honor. Will the family and school supporters of Nicole please stand to congratulate her? <laughs> she seems to have overcome the shyness. Anaria Wesley, fifth grade, class of 2026, Powell Elementary. Each day upon arrival, Anaria walks up to her teacher, greets her with a hug, a smile, and a secret handshake. Anaria has made huge improvements with her academics and continues to maintain that improvement across all subject areas. She is persistent, never gives up, and believes in fair play, even when faced with challenges. Anaria says she wants to be a teacher, just like her teacher, Ms. Balthazar, when she grows up. She wants to make learning fun and enjoyable, just as her teacher has made it for her. Once nervous for fifth grade and then middle school, Anaria is now confident and re ready to spread her wings and show the world the beautiful butterfly that she's become. The Powell family is so proud of Anaria and will miss her greatly as she makes the transition to middle school next year. Will the family and school supporters of this butterfly please stand to congratulate her? Orlando Baltazar Valentin, third grade, class of 2026, Sanford Creek Elementary. And Ms. Hernandez will be joining me for this presentation. Sanford Creek proudly recognizes Orlando. He demonstrates the perseverance, determination, and leadership, which are character traits of a star student. Orlando has become quite the reader this year. When Orlando began the school year, reading was difficult, but he did not let that challenge stand in the way. Hold up is often the response given when a teacher asks Orlando if he needs help. This is code for, I'm still working on it, but I will find the answer. Looking for a leader in and out of the classroom, Orlando is your guy. He always sets the example for others around him. At recess, you'll find him helping others learn how to play the game that he dearly loves, soccer. The staff at Sanford Creek is proud to have Orlando as our star student recipient. Ms. Hernandez. Orlando Baltazar Valentin, tercer grado, clase 2028, Escuela Primaria Sanford Creek. La Primaria de Sanford Creek reconoce con orgullo a Orlando Baltazar Valentin. Orlando demuestra la perseverancia, la determinación y el liderazgo, que son rasgos del carácter de un estudiante estrella. Orlando se ha convertido en un gran lector este año. Cuando Orlando comenzó el año escolar, la lectura era difícil para él, pero no permitió que ese desafío se interponga en su camino. Espera. Es a menudo la respuesta que le da a sus maestros cuando le preguntan a Orlando si necesita ayuda. Este es el código para decir, todavía estoy trabajando en ello y encontraré la respuesta. Si usted busca un líder dentro y fuera del aula, Orlando es su estudiante. Él, él siempre pone el ejemplo para los otros alrededor. En el recreo la, en, lo encontrará ayudando a los otros a aprender a jugar el juego que más ama, el fútbol. El personal de la primaria Sanford Creek se enorgullece de reconocer a Orlando Baltazar Valentín como su estudiante estelar. Will the family and school supporters of Orlando please stand and congratulate him. Jesus Ramirez Martinez, fifth grade, class of 2026, Smith Magnet Elementary. And Ms. Hernandez will be coming back forward. Jesus is a fifth grade student at Smith Magnet Elementary. He is a caring young man. His respectful behavior complements his great learning ability. He is a dependable safety patrol member who assists with raising and lowering the flag on a daily basis. One of his teachers was quoted as saying, Jesus's curiosity and inquisitive mind impresses me every day. 
That is a true sentiment of the type of student he is both in and out of the classroom. He approaches each day with a positive disposition and gives his absolute best in all that he does. It is with these collective things in mind that Jesus is nominated as Smith's Spotlight Student. Ms. Hernandez. Jesús Ramírez Martínez, quinto grado, clase 2026, Escuela Primaria Smith Magnet. Jesús es un estudiante de quinto grado en la Escuela Primaria de Smith Magnet. Él es el estudiante muy considerado. Su comportamiento respetuoso completamente una gran capacidad de aprendizaje. Es un miembro confiable de la patrulla de seguridad que ayuda diariamente a elevar y bajar la bandera. Uno de sus maestros fue citado diciendo, la curiosidad y la mente inquisitiva de Jesús me impresiona profundamente. Esta opinión re representa verdaderamente la clase de estudiante que es, dentro y fuera del aula. Él vive cada día como con una actitud positiva y da lo mejor de sí en todo lo que hace. Teniendo todo esto en consideración, hemos nominado a Jesús Ramírez Martínez como el estudiante estelar de la primaria de Smith. Will the family and school supporters of Jesus please stand and congratulate him. Hannah Holder, fifth grade, class of 2026, Sycamore Creek Elementary. Hannah is a remarkable student. Throughout her daily interactions, you can easily see the depth of her character. Hannah is soft-spoken, but her actions speak volumes. Hannah experienced an unimaginable loss last year during fourth grade when her father suddenly passed away. Through this, she continues to work hard with great perseverance. She takes responsibility for her learning and always applies focus and diligence. Hannah is a great friend and demonstrates patience with others. Her legacy at Sycamore Creek is one of kindness, hard work, and deep empathy. She has a big heart, is always quick to help others, a trait that she no doubt learned from her mother and her father. Not only is Hannah a role model for her peers, but for adults as well. We are so proud of the courage that she has demonstrated in the face of adversity. Will the family and school supporters of Hannah please stand to congratulate her. And here comes Zyron Richardson, fourth grade, class of 2027, Turner Creek Elementary. Zyron begins every day with a big smile and the words, what are we going to do today? The excitement and anticipation in his voice prove how eager he is to always learn something new. Zyron is not afraid to put in extra effort and is always ready to listen, ask questions, and to show pride in his accomplishments. When Zyron faces a challenge, he is open to and grateful for advice and support. His teachers have overheard Zyron whispering, come on, you got this, to a neighbor who might be feeling frustrated, or we can do this whenever he's working with a partner. Zyron is not only a role model for his classmates, but for his younger brother as well. He's always looking out for him. It is for these reasons and so many more that Turner Creek Elementary is so proud to shine the spotlight on Zyron. Will the family and school supporters please stand to congratulate him. Dario Garcia, fifth grade, class of 2026, Vance Elementary. And Ms. Hernandez will be joining me for this presentation. Don't give up. You can do it. Let's give it another try. You're going to catch it next time. These are the words of Dario, a standout among his peers. He is the epitome of kindness, patience, and good sportsmanship. He faces challenges, but he chooses to turn those challenges into his assets. Dario is a leader both in the classroom and while playing at recess. He can be heard giving an encouraging word to his fellow students or boosting up a classmate at recess. Whatever the situation, he pushes those around him to always strive to be better. His positive gentleness is an example for all to follow. Even his teachers are inspired by his hopeful and kind spirit. The staff and students of Vance Elementary are excited to nominate Dario for this year's Spotlight Award. Ms. Hernandez. Darío García, quinto grado, clase 2026, Escuela Primaria Vance. No te rindas, puedes hacerlo. Vamos a intentarlo de nuevo. 
lo, lo captarás la próxima vez. Estas son las palabras de Darío Delgado García, un joven que se destaca entre sus compañeros. Él es el epítome de la bondad, la paciencia y el espíritu deportivo. Entre, enfrenta desafíos, pero elige convertirlos esos desafíos en ventajas. Darío es un líder tanto en el aula como mientras juega en el recreo. Se le puede escuchar dando una palabra de aliento para sus compañeros o levantándole el ánimo a un compañero de clase durante durante el recreo. Cualquiera que sea la situación, él impulsa a los demás a su alrededor para esforzarse por ser mejor. Su gentileza es un ejemplo para todos que lo imiten. Incluso sus maestros están inspirados en su espíritu optimista y amable. El personal y los estudiantes de la primaria Vance están emocionados de nominar a Darío para el premio como el estudiante estelar de este año. Will the family and school supporters of Dario please stand and congratulate him? <laughs> Evie Ashba, fifth grade, class of 2026, Vandora Springs Elementary. Evie is a star student with an outstanding personality and work ethic. She strives to do her best in everything she does. You can usually find her helping someone throughout the building or participating in after school clubs. She's a member of our safety patrol, recycling team, chorus, art club, and science club. She's dependable and goes above and beyond what is expected of her no matter the task. Evie also loves to help out in kindergarten and watch the minds of young students grow. Outside of school, Evie loves to draw, bake, and lovingly helps to care for her younger sister. She hopes to go to business school and own her own bakery one day. Yum. We cannot wait to see her fulfill her hopes and dreams. She is a true reflection of a Vandora Springs eagle. Will the family and school supporters of Evie please stand to congratulate her? Yazir James, fifth grade, class of 2026, Abbotts Creek Elementary. Yazir is a fifth grader at Abbotts Creek. He was born with a medical condition that initially impeded his ability to walk. He had to wear leg braces and use a wheelchair. When he was five, he had surgery to correct this condition, and then he had to relearn how to walk using braces. This necessitated him spending his kindergarten year at home. Today, Yazir excels in his schoolwork and has a thirst for knowledge that makes him an absolute joy to teach. He's willing to take risks in the classroom, and he has has wisdom beyond his years. Yazir embodies joy and resilience, and he is the reason that Abbotts Creek celebrates a spotlight student this evening. Will the family and school supporters of Yazir please stand and congratulate him. <laughs> Chair Martin and members of the board, this concludes this incredible edition of our Spotlight Students. Thank you, and join me all in celebrating our students. <laughs> students, we are proud of each and every one of you. Uh, uh, there is a very good reason, obviously, that you were selected as Spotlight students. You know, I, I, I often compliment our spotlight. It finds uh, some pretty good examples. The whole purpose of a spotlight is really two things. One is what's happening tonight is we get to shine some recognition on you, and that recognition is very well deserved. But the other purpose of a spotlight is so that other people can see what it is that we're talking about. And that's a really important part of your job now that you're spotlight students because we're shining the light on you because we think you have some traits and skills and personalities that other people need to see. And that's part of the job of a spotlight is to highlight things that other people need to see. And you're doing that. We heard about you being mentors uh, to other people. That's exactly what spotlights do, uh, is they, they give an example so that others can follow. You know, we heard wonderful traits, and I want to, you want to just enhance and encourage those. We heard a lot about kindness and empathy today. Um, our world needs a little bit more of that. 
Yeah, learning to walk in someone else's shoes, trying to understand what's going on, that changes lives. And as we change lives, the world will become a better place. Doesn't always work the first time, does it? We heard a lot about persistence, trying things. Uh, we heard about thriving with challenge. If we already knew everything, life would be boring, wouldn't it? Challenge is what makes life exciting, and, and to thrive on challenge is what's going to take you strong into the future. Uh, I didn't hear anybody congratulated because they knew all the answers, but I heard a lot of people congratulated because you learned how to ask questions. And I think that's another thing that I want you to take with you all through life. So I'm a professor at NC State. Go Pack. I'd love to have several of you in my classes in the future, right? Shameless. What I want in my students, what I want in each of my students, and I see it in you, is not students who just want to know the answer. I do a lot of research, and guess what? I still don't know the answers. That's most of what I do, is trying to ask questions so that I can learn more things. And the more I learn, guess what? The more questions I have. So keep those traits, your kindness, your empathy, your persistence, your thriving on that challenge, and always ask questions. And when you do that, your spotlight is going to be worthwhile, and you're going to show not only you're going to get recognition for yourself, but you're going to show a lot of people a constructive way to lead. So again, congratulations on your leadership. All very well deserved. Enjoy tonight. Parents, family members, uh, should be proud of these kids, uh, as I know you are. We're going to take a little break now, give you all a chance to take a few pictures. This is a great backdrop for some pictures. Uh, so we'll give you all an opportunity to take some pictures, uh, celebrate your time here. We've got another group who will be coming in. So, uh, you know, take the time that you need, but we won't take too much time. When you all exit, I'll ask you to exit to my left, your right. And that way, the new group will be able to come in uh, from the other side. So again, congratulations, and enjoy this evening.
Good evening and welcome. We have already established quorum, so we are ready to get right to the recognition of you all, our Spotlight students. We're very glad to have uh, Crystal Reardon, Director of Counseling Services, and Counseling and Student Services. She'll present the Spotlight uh, recognitions, and uh, Superintendent Moore will also greet each and every one of you. So we're very glad to have you here. Ms. Reardon. Great. Thank you, Chair Martin, members of the board, and Superintendent Moore. It is my pleasure this evening to present to you all the shining examples of the Wake County Public School System spotlight on students. I will call each student forward. I'll read the amazing things that their school has shared about them, most of which I think is true. And, <laughs> and then I'll ask for family and school supporters to stand to congratulate the student. Please hold your applause until I invite the school staff to stand, family and school staff to stand. And I'd like to introduce Ms. Karina Hernandez. She will be joining me to present um, to a few of the students as well, and I'll let you know if I'm calling her forward um, so that you can hold your applause. All right, let's get started with Stephen Jen, fourth grade, class of 2027, Balkum Elementary. Stephen is an inspiration to all who know him. In third grade, his family received the frightening news that Stephen was diagnosed with a serious and life-threatening medical condition. As a result, he was unable to attend most of third grade with his classmates. Over the course of that year, he underwent countless tests and procedures which had both immediate and long-term side effects, not knowing if he would even survive the disease. Stephen is now in remission and amazingly was able to return to school with peers in August. He has never complained about what he can't do. Instead, it is only his nature to focus on what he can do. Stephen's future plans are to become a neurologist, and all of his teachers can attest to there being no doubt that he will achieve any goal that he sets his mind to. Will the family and school supporters of Stephen please stand to congratulate him? Adanaja Boone, fourth grade, class of 2027, Brian Road Elementary. <laughs> Adanaja's face faced challenges prior to coming to Bryan Road, but you would never know that by the way he carries himself. He continues to grow academically, socially, and emotionally. He can experience challenges in the classroom, but no struggle will keep him from working to his full potential. In collaborative learning activities, Adonaja is a team player. Students appreciate how he contributes, encourages, and respects each person's abilities within the group. He's a member of the Helping Hands Club. During physical activities, Activities, he celebrates with his peers as they succeed. He truly wants others to feel good about their moment in the spotlight. He will go on to make a positive impact in our world. Adonaja, they are proud to have you at Bryan Road Elementary. Will the family and school supporters of this performer please stand to congratulate him? Olivia Elliott, fifth grade, class of 2026, Buckhorn Creek Elementary. Olivia goes above and beyond each and every day in class. She actively demonstrates a love of learning and a growth mindset. If something piques her interest in class, then she goes home and researches about it and then shares her findings with the class. Olivia's done multiple projects that were not asked of her, just so she can learn more about topics of interest. She treats everyone with respect and dignity, finding the positives in all people and in all situations. Olivia's often found helping other students who may be struggling. She knows just the right way to work with them so that they understand and don't feel threatened by her help. She's extremely kind, compassionate, and hardworking. She exemplifies what a model student should be. Will the family and school supporters of Olivia please stand to congratulate her. Kaylin Jones, fifth grade, class of 2026, Hortons Creek Elementary. 
Kaylin's teachers would say that her top three character strengths are kindness, perseverance, and humor. Ever since kindergarten, Kaylin's needed a little extra help when it comes to reading, writing, and math, but this has never stopped her from always doing her best and pushing even when the odds may be stacked against her. At times, Kaylin, just like all of us, gets frustrated and wants to quit, but she always continues to try. She continues to grow and learn at her own pace. When other students are struggling or having a hard time, she always provides encouragement by saying, you can do this and just keep trying. She refuses to let other students give up. She is a true leader and an amazing role model to each of her peers. Will the family and school supporters of Kaylin please stand and congratulate her. Nolan Foss, seventh grade, class of 2024, Apex Friendship Middle School. Nolan is an inspiring young man who exemplifies the qualities of the Spotlight Award. And he has a prime spot as being Apex Friendship's first Spotlight student. He is a respectful young man who is outgoing, well-liked by his peers, advocates for himself, and has a willingness to learn. He has a shining personality and is a student ambassador who represents our school to prospective new students for Apex Friendship. Despite Nolan's recurring medical condition, he always has a positive outlook and a positive demeanor. He looks towards the future with grace and with the glass is half full approach. Nolan carries himself well and lights up a room whenever he enters the door to learn each day. His work ethic and energy are well received by everyone and they radiate from him. It is the school staff's most sincere pleasure to nominate Nolan Foss as our spotlight student. Will the family and school supporters of Nolan please stand and congratulate him. Carmelo Inugi Austin, 8th grade, class of 2023, Carnage Middle School. Carmelo is a friendly, hardworking 8th grader at Carnage. Nine years ago, when his family and he moved to East Africa from Wake County, they had previously lived in Kenya and for the most part spoke Swahili. When he returned, he adapted to his new environment and is now bilingual. He often pushes his peers in their wheelchairs and never forgets to hold the door whenever others are walking through. Carmelo loves ketchup and barbecue sauce and puts both on everything on his lunch tray. <laughs> and I verified that with Carmelo. He fills his classroom with his magnetic personality that exudes joy to everyone around him. Our school is proud to introduce Carmelo as our Spotlight student. Will the family and school supporters stand to congratulate him? <laughs> Aiden Kloos, 8th grade, class of 2023, Davis Drive Middle School. The Davis Drive Middle School staff is excited to recognize Aiden as our spotlight winner. Aiden is a model student who always goes above and beyond to help peers and teachers alike. He brings his A game daily by being a hardworking student and always putting forth his best effort. Aiden does not let obstacles in his life affect his drive for learning and he never ever gives up. One of Aiden's best qualities is how kind he is to others. The staff at Davis Drive is so proud of all that Aiden has accomplished and we look forward to his bright and shining future. Will the family and school supporters of Aiden please stand and congratulate him. Ashton Lavere, eighth grade, class of 2023, Holly Ridge Middle School. Holly Ridge is proud to recognize Ashton as our spotlight representative. She's not allowed any of her personal adversity to affect her drive to succeed. This year, Ashton was Mary Poppins in the school production of Mary Poppins Jr. She wrote and directed a video for Wake County's anti-bullying campaign and was awarded third place. And she was a finalist and regional winner for her script in the Young Playwrights for Change competition. Her script focused around the theme of discovering truth about self and others and has been sent to the national level for competition. And I told her she and Emily Blunt are Mary Poppins in the same year, so that is quite a resume. Will the family and school supporters of Ashton please stand to congratulate her.
Advaith Cherivu, 8th grade, class of 2023, Mills Park Middle School. Advaith is an extremely conscientious student who excels academically in all of his classes. He's curious and does not hesitate to ask thought-provoking questions. His teachers describe him as polite, kind, patient, and willing to help others. His passion for scientific inquiry makes him an exceptional member of the Science and Engineering Club. With his partner, Advaith skillfully conducted a study about generating potential biofuel in different types of beans, winning first place at at the regional and state competitions. As a member of the National Junior Honor Society, Advaith has exceeded the required number of service hours. His track coaches are consistently impressed by his performance and his desire to always improve as a runner. It is for these and so many more reasons that we nominate Advaith as our Spotlight student. Will the family and school supporters please stand and congratulate him. Zolima Marin Cortez, 8th grade, class of 2023, Moore Square Middle School. And Ms. Um, Hernandez will be joining me for this presentation. Zulima is a dedicated, hardworking eighth grade student. She always strives to do her best in everything she's asked to do, is willing to help with extra tasks, and has consistently made high grades the entire school year. She is a peer mediator and a compassionate student. She was accepted into an early college and will be her first in her family to go to college. She wants to be a military clinical psychologist because helping others is her passion, and she wants to be a helping hand for those who might feel alone. She cares deeply about the issues that face our country, and she wants all people to be safe and happy. Amen. Well, the fan, oh, I'm sorry, Ms. Hernandez. <laughs> I'm getting carried away. <laughs> Suleima Marin Cortez, octavo grado, clase 2023, escuela intermedia, Moore Square. Suleima es una estudiante dedicada de octavo grado que trabaja duro. Ella siempre se esfuerza por hacer todo lo posible en todo lo que se le pida que haga. Está dispuesta a ayudar con tareas adicionales y siempre ha obtenido calificaciones altas durante todo el año escolar. Ella es muy buena para interceder entre sus compañeros y es una estudiante compasiva. Suleima fue aceptada a una escuela secundaria con programa universitario y será la primera en su familia en ir a la universidad. Quiere ser psicóloga clínica militar porque ayudar a los demás es su pasión. Y quiere ser una mano de ayuda para quienes se sienten solos. Ella se preocupa uh, profundamente por los problemas que enfrenta nuestro país y quiere que todas las personas estén seguras y felices. Will the family and school supporters of Zulima please stand to congratulate her. Asiri Contreras Salas, 8th grade, class of 2023, North Garner Middle School. Ms. Hernandez will be um, supporting this presentation as well. Aziri is an exemplary student who demonstrates all of the pride attributes at North Garner Middle School. Her work ethic, positive attitude, and determination to succeed are evident in everything that she does. She has repeatedly shown perseverance through challenges. This year has been a tremendous year of growth for Aziri. She has performed a poem of her own in front of an audience of her peers and teachers in the auditorium of our school. She was accepted into Vernon Malone College and Career Academy because of her outstanding achievements. Above all else, Aziri is a wonderful example of a student who treats others with kindness and respect, seeks greater understanding in all of her academics, and works hard to demonstrate the characteristics of pride that we would hope for all of our students to try, strive to achieve. Ms. Hernandez. Atsiri Contreras Salas, octavo grado, clase 2023, Escuela Intermedia de North Gardner. Atsiri Contreras Salas es un estudiante ejemplar que demuestra todos los atributos de Pride en la escuela secundaria de North Gardner. La ética de trabajo, la actitud positiva y la determinación de Atsiri para tener éxito son evidentes en todo lo que hace. Atsiri ha demostrado repetitivamente perseverancia a través de los desafíos. Este año ha sido un tremendo año de crecimiento para Atsiri. Ella ha interpretado un poema de su 
propia creación frente a una audiencia de sus compañeros y maestros en el auditorio de nuestra escuela. Fue aceptada en Vernon Malone Early College debido a sus logros sobresalientes. Por encima de todo, Adsiri es una mar un maravilloso ejemplo de una estudiante que trata a los demás con amabilidad y respeto. Busca una mayor comprensión en sus estudios académicos y trabaja arduamente para demostrar la característica de Pride, que esperamos que todos nuestros estudiantes se, se esfuercen por lograr. Will the family and school supporters of Aziri please stand and congratulate her. Christopher Johnson, seventh grade, class of 2024, Wakefield Middle School. It has been a privilege to work with Christopher this year and see him take on such care and compassion in our school, in his learning, and in the learning of others. Christopher's not afraid to ask for help and is determined to overcome any obstacle which he's presented. His ability to communicate and his positive attitude towards the whole school environment set him on a successful path for his future. Christopher always greets his teachers with a smile on his face each day. He has a strong sense of empathy for the feelings of peers and adults adults alike. In all of our experience in education, the school staff have yet to see a nicer student than Christopher Johnson. He is truly a joy to teach, and for these reasons and so many more, we nominate him as our Spotlight student. Will the family and school supporters of Christopher please stand to congratulate him. Rebecca White, eighth grade, class of 2023, Wendell Middle School. Wendell Middle School is proud to have Miss Rebecca White as our Spotlight student. Rebecca embodies all that we strive for in students. Rebecca has never used her challenges to expect anything other than her best from herself. When Rebecca's forced to miss school for medical reasons, she is proactive, gets her work from her teachers, and has it completed when she returns. Rebecca's grades are a true reflection of her hard work. The one constant with Rebecca is her smile. She truly lights up the room. See? <laughs> Rebecca's teacher shared that she has the highest level of integrity and will always be counted on to do the right thing. She's willing to help to give of herself to help others. The staff at Wendell Middle School knows that Rebecca has a bright future. And while we will truly miss her as she moves on to high school next year, we wish her all the best in her future success. Will the family and school supporters of Rebecca please stand to congratulate her. Sean Burton, 8th grade, class of 2023, West Cary Middle School. Sean Burton is a student who cares for those around him and seeks to serve others rather than himself. He humorously brightens the day of his classmates and conveys empathy to everyone, including teachers. Having shown marked improvement in math this year, Sean perseveres through challenges and elects to eat lunch daily with his math teacher. What? <laughs> A natural leader in class and among his athletic teammates, his engagement in class is infectious and it motivates his classmates to succeed. His leadership, work ethic, and character, both on and off the football field and basketball court, have propelled him and West Cary to some amazing accomplishments this year. Will the family and school supporters of Sean please stand to congratulate him. Esmeralda Ramos Palmeras, 8th grade, class of 2023, Westlake Middle School. And Ms. Hernandez will be joining me for this presentation. Esmeralda is a caring, diligent, and determined young lady. She is a very conscientious student and always strives to do her best. She believes that if she's not going to do it, or if she is going to do it, then she's going to do it right. She directs the morning news and helps her anchors by encouraging them to speak loud and into the audience with confidence. 
She faces every hardship with a determined attitude and never complains about tough situations. She's the first person to volunteer to help, no matter the task. Her teachers describe her as one of the most giving and genuine people they know. She always greets others with a smile and empowers others to speak their truth. Being a part of the equity team, she's accepting and inclusive of everyone. Esmeralda is an, ins is an inspiration to both her peers and the teachers who love her so much. Ms. Hernandez. Esmeralda Ramos del Mares, octavo grado, clase 2023, Escuela Intermedia Westlake. Esmeralda es una joven cariñosa, diligente y dedicada. Ella es una estudiante muy responsable y siempre se esfuerza por hacer lo, el mejor trabajo posible. Esmeralda opina que si va a hacer algo, lo va a hacer bien. Dirige el noticiero de la mañana y ayuda a sus presentadores en alertándolos, hablar en voz alta, a la audiencia y con confianza. Esmeralda enfrenta cada dificultad con una actitud determinada y nunca se queja de situaciones difíciles. Ella es la primera persona que se ofrece voluntariamente a ayudar, sin importar la tarea. Sus maestros la describen como una de las personas más generosas y genuinas. Ella saluda a los demás con una sonrisa y anima a los demás a decir la verdad. El, al ser parte del equipo de equidad, ella acepta el, e, e incluye a los demás. Esmeralda es una inspiración tanto para sus compañeros como para los maestros que la quieren. Will the family and school supporters of Esmeralda please stand to congratulate her. Marshall Buffalo, 7th grade, class of 2024, West Millbrook Middle School. Marshall Buffalo is an excellent student and a model citizen. He's always willing to lend a helping hand to his teachers and his peers. He has great ideas and is a creative problem solver. Outside the classroom, Marshall plays an active role on the Wildcat soccer team. His NCFC 06 ECNL soccer team. <laughs> And he informed me that all of the letters were important. <laughs> and his church basketball team. Marshall took part in a Hurricane Florence blanket drive at West Millbrook and was chosen to help deliver the blankets to students affected by hurricane damage in Wallace, North Carolina. Marshall is a member of West Millbrook's Beta Club and serves as one of the students' Diplocats. He gives tours, answers questions, and makes families feel welcome. We couldn't ask for a better representative than Marshall, and we are proud to present him for our Spotlight Award. Will the family and school supporters of Marshall please stand to congratulate him? Zinzan Milne, 12th grade, class of 2019, Apex Friendship High School. Zinzan, otherwise known as Zinni, and his family immigrated to the United States from South Africa with only $1,000 to their name. At age 10, Zinni picked up any odd job he could in order to help his family financially. As a young man, he organized his own lawn care business and worked in construction to help his family purchase necessities such as groceries. At school, we have recognized Zinni's dedication to education. He understands that working hard and earning a degree will allow him to improve his life. He focuses on achieving the best grades he can while continuing to work full time to save money to pay his way through college. And he shared that he plans to attend Cape Fear Community College and he's gonna study marine engineering and we know that he's gonna be amazing at whatever he does. Family and school supporters of Zinni, please stand to congratulate him. <laughs> Paul Smith III, 12th grade, class of 2019, Enlow High School. Enlow Magnet High School is proud to select Paul Smith III as this year's Spotlight recipient. He is a dedicated participant in the North Carolina Mathematics, Science, and Engineering Network pre-college program at NC State. 
Does anybody want to do this? Okay. Paul used his passions for engineering and helping others to create Divergent Minds, a nonprofit that provides tech access to veterans and people living in poverty. Paul did this despite his own challenges. In 10th grade, he was diagnosed with a benign brain tumor. The tumor returned and the intense surgery led to Paul having to endure this obstacle again this, his senior year. Paul works diligently in advanced classes and this fall he will attend UNC Chapel Hill <laughs> to major in computer science. A youth minister, a member of the National Honor Society and several service-based organizations, Paul often shares how his faith family, and love for people keeps him going. He is resi his resilience is a true example of overcoming setbacks and living in your purpose. Will the family and school supporters of Paul Smith III please stand to congratulate him. Amelia Buck, 12th grade, class of 2019, Garner High School. Amelia, from a young age, was faced with an immune condition known as IgA deficiency that would limit many of her activities. She was always enthralled by the world and in love with language. Her goal in life is to become fluent in six languages, including French and American Sign Language. As the youngest daughter of a single mother, she was always taught the strength of feminism and being a vocal activist in her community. As she grew into her dreams of grandeur and with her luminous personality and she luckily grew out of IgA deficiency, she's now allowing her to explore her passions without limitations at Franklin University in Switzerland this fall. An amazing young lady. Will the family and school supporters of Amelia please stand and congratulate her. Jason Whitehead, 10th grade, class of 2021, Holly Springs High School. Freshman year, Kaysen arrived on the Holly Springs High campus with a wiry frame, a mop of hair, a huge smile, and a desire to run cross country. After a rousing start to the year, both academically and athletically, things unfortunately began to change. After a series of evaluations, the diagnosis became clear. It was leukemia. Advised by his doctors to take a year off from school and to focus on getting healthy, Kaysen instead insisted on staying the course and working towards graduating with his class. He continued to excel in his studies and to run when he could, and that huge smile never wavered. Kaysen embodies the definition of strength and perseverance. His approach to adversity and a positive attitude is a model that we can all seek to emulate. Will the family and school supporters of Kaysen please stand to congratulate him. Emerson Bullock III, 12th grade, class of 2019, North Wake College and Career Academy. Emerson is a leader. He is action-oriented. He is kind. He is the first student who contacted the principal about coming to North Wake, calling her to let her know that he wanted to switch school so that he could be a part of North Wake's emergency medical technician program. He is a leader. He has been a member and an officer in our SGA. He is respected by his peers, even being named the first prom king. <laughs> All right? He is also vice president of the Black Student Union and has helped to facilitate speakers, field trips, and recognitions of Black History Month. He takes AP and honors courses and college classes through Wake Tech. He manages all of this while working in the evenings. Emerson is truly deserving of this award. He is a role model and a leader for our school and has helped set a firm foundation for a new school in the Wake County Public School System. And Emerson is going to continue his studies at Wake Tech to finalize his degree in EMT. Will the family and school supporters of Emerson Bullock III please stand to congratulate him. Kagayo Mangugu, 10th grade, class of 2021, South Garner High School. 
South Garner sophomore and inaugural spotlight student for South for um, South Garner is a remarkable young man. Ben moved to America when he was in the second grade as a refugee from the Congo. As you can imagine, that was quite a shock to a little boy. He's overcome many obstacles to become the amazing student and athlete that he is today. In addition to being a great student in the classroom, he's a member of our football, basketball, and track team this year. He's an active member of the student council at South Garner High School. He lives out every day our school's motto, excellence on purpose through effort every day. Will the family and school supporters of Cagayo please stand to congratulate him. <laughs> Gabrielle Donaldson, 12th grade, class of 2019, Wakefield High School. Gabrielle is perhaps better known by the Wakefield High School community as a scholar athlete. She has been co-captain of the Wakefield girls basketball team since her freshman year and helped to lead this year's team to first place in the NAC4 conference. Not only is she goal-oriented, competitive, and persistent on the court, but she also achieves academic excellence in school. Gabrielle will attend Harvard University this fall and has been offered a spot as the point guard for Harvard's women's basketball team. Gabrielle's teachers did not hesitate to share about her when asked. When asked if she had any advice for her fellow students and teammates, Gabrielle believes that seeking excellence does not always mean trying to be perfect. Just be your best self, right girl? Will the family and school supporters of Gabrielle please stand to congratulate her best self? <laughs> DeAndre Reynolds, fourth grade, class of 2027, Timber Drive Elementary. Staff and students at Timber Drive could immediately tell how much DeAndre's education means to him because of all the hard work and dedication that he has shown since day one. He has experienced some medical issues that have impacted his daily life, but he comes to class each day eager to learn. This year, DeAndre's been able to recognize when he's angry or upset and will either ask for help or will remove himself from the situation to take time to calm down. If there is a dispute on the playground, DeAndre is right there to provide a solution and to help his friends through it. DeAndre has made incredible personal academic growth this year, but what truly sets him apart is his desire to share what he's learned with his peers so that they too can benefit from his experiences. Will the family and school supporters of DeAndre please stand to congratulate him. Chair Martin and members of the board, this concludes this presentation of these incredible Spotlight students. Please join me all in celebrating these, all these students one more time. Students, we are extremely proud of you. Uh, Well-deserved recognitions. Uh, it's uh, impressive, some of the stories that, that your lives are, uh, the testimony of what you've overcome and what you will overcome. Uh, it's an inspiration to each and every one of us. You know, we call this Spotlight on Students for a couple reasons. Well, it's what spotlights are supposed to do, right? They do two things. One is they shine on you to give you some recognition, and that recognition is extremely well deserved, and we're very glad to turn that spotlight on you tonight to take that recognition. But there's another thing that spotlights do, and that's they shine on you so that other people can see you. And we want other people to see you. Your lives, your testimony, what you're doing, your work, is something that needs to be shared beyond so that other people can see, because what you have to offer is what our world needs. So keep it up, uh, keep on. I'm always impressed 
to hear that one of the common themes is be kind. That's an important place to start for any leader, for any human being. I loved a couple examples tonight of, always, of adding humor. Sometimes we take ourselves a little bit too seriously, but I'll tell you what, ketchup and barbecue sauce always make things better. <laughs> we, we heard a number of things tonight uh, about self, and I think that's important to reflect on because I think it, the more you know yourself, the stronger leader you can be. I think we heard a lot about knowing and respecting yourself. That's an important place to start. We heard a lot about serving beyond oneself, our mentorship, our caring for others. And we heard on multiple occasions that we needed to expect the best of ourselves, to be our best self and expect the best of ourselves. And as we do that, we're only going to change the world, and that's what each of us can do. Uh, one of you uh, noted that your personality is always looking toward the future. And I guess that's maybe the last thing I'll say about what a spotlight can do. It sh can shine and lead the way so that we're always looking toward the future. So it's amazing what you all have accomplished. We're glad to celebrate that tonight. And we look forward to how you will take your spotlight and lead us to the future. Thank you and congratulations. Uh, as you leave, please uh, don't hesitate to take some pictures. All these pictures on the back wall, the medallion, are great backdrops. Uh, celebrate tonight. Uh, families, friends, we're so glad you're here to celebrate as well. Uh, have a great evening. And uh, with that, do I hear a motion uh, to adjourn our meeting? We have a motion and a second to adjourn tonight's meeting. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed, same sign? The meeting is adjourned. Have a great evening. <laughs>